let's rename this as wall uh, z minus wall z minus wall is actually wall z plus and this is z minus z plus z minus I want to do a tag. I'm going to delete level two, and let's make a tag here for this one. And let's create a tag right here. Add tag, uh, right? And let's call this um, wall. No. Uh, Die wall. Die wall. Let's create another tag called food. And let's create another tag called enemy. Alright. So we're going to make this four wall as die wall. And let's add another material here create material I'm going to add a red material All right and let's add this material dye material and let's add this material to our walls so we know that we if we catch this if we hit this wall it means that the uh, player is going to die, so, so we only have to catch the food. And actually, I'm going to tag this food. I don't know if it's working by multiple select, but food. Yeah, yeah it's working. So I tag this as food. And I tag this as dial. And the plane is actually the location where our player is moving. Alright. It seems that I get a message bad video settings. This is frame E frame. And this is bad. I don't know how you are. Alright. Use a keyframe frequency for something like that. Alright, I'm going to stop this live and I tried to fix this problem and I'm coming back in like. 10 minutes maximum. Alright, so we are back. I fixed that problem with the stream and let's see what we want to do here. So we're going to the move cube script and we want to detect when we detect a wall we want the game to uh, we want to do something there. So on collision enter if the collision let's see um, let's write your other so if other that tag seriously okay get this tag equals with if we collide a wall uh, die wall so we have to write the exact name from here 
is happening right now sorry it's sorry about that all right so when we hit play let's see what is happening there is a collision with a die wall perfect and when we when we get yeah i know why is this happening because it doesn't detect the food it's only detecting the wall all right let's see what can we do here and it's not detecting the food because it's triggered. Tag food. Food is not working. You should take the food number of objects. Alright, let's see what we have in this trigger entry. Number of objects and I want to get this. Get I should do something else here. So I should do something here like update player stats by increasing the food. The points. Eat. Something like this. What the heck? All right. So this is about that one. And right here, like I. All right, something like this, and this over here. And here you should do something like that where you start by increasing the points. Yes. And inside the player, inside the player, remove Q, we should do here something like public uh, inch points. Um, public inch uh, points, and that should be at here. Uh, position and inside the star whenever points equal to zero and position equal to zero actually I'm going to do a method here called void uh, each 
and it's going to be sorry it's going to be public public void each I'm going to do something like points plus plus and public void position that is going to be something like position plus plus um, next position all right so we have this move cube and we're going to use this move cube right here Avoid start and let's give it a name move cube and see uh, and it's private and we have to get uh, we have to find remove cube so mc equals game object that find and we have to find the layer and after that that get component called move cube this is not too good this is taking memory this stuff is taking memory but if you want to do this stuff we have to use this thing and we are doing something like when uh, the current food is being cached where is I like MC that each and we increase the we increase the food but I, I'm thinking of something else so inside this eat I'm going to do public word eat and get I'm going to do something else if points equal with four so we get four uh, right here the bottom that upload position change to next position all right let's see if it's working i know that this is taking for any for every food this is taking a little bit of we can do something else but let's try this way and let's see if the oh we have some compiled errors compilation errors where are they public void eat i think i know where it's right here yeah what, what the heck am i doing so mcf eat equals uh mcf uh, so we change that Find 
game, game object with, with the tag. Let's, let's try this one. one. And let's, let's find, find the player. player. And, and let's, let's get, get this command called SV tag. So, so this is not one. one. Ah, okay. okay. Object with tag. Alright. And if other tag is, is a player. player This points value is one five. If true, this is not. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not working as I expected. As expected. Because oh, what a mess. So every time we set this stuff, we're going to raise points, yeah, before that condition. Let's see here, point zero, points one, points two, come on, oh, it's working so badly. Points three and on points four, yeah, change the next position. Yeah, and this is what I wanted to do. All right, let's duplicate this. Let's move it right here. Also, I want to delete something. Oh, this one, OZ minus. And what I want to do here, when we get all the food, we want to open a door, as I told you next in this previous video. I want to open a door, this one. So in order to do that, I'm going to add here an anim animation. Let's create here a folder. Create folder animations and inside this animation folder let's see it was the which we name this as wall wall one first wall first wall yeah first wall right and right click create uh, animation and we're gonna call this animation open the door open the door and we're going to sign this I'm not sure if it's working but let's see if we hit create, yeah I don't think I should do that, let's see Let's head back. Just select the object that you have attached the animation component. Hit create. I'm going to select the animation. Yes. Yeah. And we're going to do an animation right here. So we want to reposition this uh, wall. Let's see. Then I want to take right here. I want this wall to be like here. All right, let's see. So as you can see, when the animation is starting, the wall is opening, and we can go into the next scene. All right. But what I want to do here, I want to change only the. Oops. I want to change. So I can't. Delete key. Let's see. 
if we can do this stuff. I'm, I'm not interested on Z axis and I just want it. I just want to move the um, I axis. Yep, it's working. And this is the animation. The animation is only changing the I axis. What the heck is happening? No, 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 it's not good. Alright. This is not good. So it's a, it's a, it's remember the I don't understand why it's changing the the Z axis because I want this object to be right here and when I hit play it's going to be more than I get hmm only because I let's see if I just set this one no. Now I just have to add the uh, all axis. So I'm going to go again. I'm going to add the position. Let's move it right here. Let's move it right here. Let's delete this one. Uh, how can I copy this? I think it's working good. Yeah, it's working with this combination. And right here, I want to make a move at this position. Yeah, I'm going to let the. Let's see. Yeah, see what. So, all I want to do here, I want to get this uh, play automatically now. I want to get this object into my player. This is not a good idea, but this is only. I'm going to do this for the sake of this video. Let's see. Uh, game object. I'm going to make it public first. First door. And when we get that four points, we're gonna do something like first door the home. No, I think I'm going to get the animation. Animation, yeah, I'm going to get animation. And when I get all that stuff, I'm going to play the animation. Yeah. Play. Uh, play. Yeah. So if first door, first door. How I call this? Never mind. First door that is playing. If it's not playing, then play. And this is actually doing what I want. So what I have to do is I have to select current player and on the first door I have to drag the first wall. And let's see what is happening. So we get the first 
Here's the second one. Yeah, it's working so bad, man, because I'm recording. Yeah, and as you can see, it opened the door for me, as you can see here. And I can pass to the second, um, to the second scene. Another thing that I want to do here, I want to change the camera to the second scene. Or I can change the camera, I can move the camera towards this object. So where is the camera, main camera? Well, let's add a couple here. Uh, move camera uh, to um, to play. All right. So move camera to player. So this move camera needs public key object. I get this object and I have to check on fixed update. Start. I'm going to copy this and fix update. Alright. I have to move towards the this game object. But I'm thinking to get only transform. Yeah, I'm going to get only transform. I'm going to make the same thing like here. With the difference that I'm going to get on the transform and I'll make this private and what I have to do in fixed update all I want to do is to move the uh, x and z axis towards the transform so the game object that transform that position Equal game dev geo. No, I have to do something different. I have to create a vector tree. Uh, game on player position that is equal which geo. And player position that uh, I is going to be equal with the game object that that position that I. I'm not sure if it's that position. Alright, so the current position. Let's see if it's working. Yeah, let's see what is happening. It could happen something strange, but all right. So as you can see, it's working, and the camera is following the is following the player. So this is not something bad. So after we get all this. The door is opening and we can pass to the next level. This is nice. But we have to add the next behavior. So so far we done what we wanted. And What I want to do next is I want to detect the collision with these walls. So when our player is in collision with a wall, a red wall, that is a die wall, uh, is going to the game is going to replay. All right. So how can I do that? Inside the move cube script. On collision enter, 
we have here a detection with dialog. So here we have to do something. So here we have to uh, replay the game. So if I'm I'm trying to remember application, I guess application. Yeah, application that load the load level, and I guess we have to give it the current name. Let's go back. Five. Where is that staff? Oh, I still have time. Build settings. All right. Add open scene. So first game is the name of this scene. It seems working. First day application app low level first game. Let's see, it's working. So, if we hit a wall, <laughs> if we hit the wall, we can see that. Oops. You can see that the game is starting over and we pass the first level. Yeah, and here I have to change something. So we pass the first level. Alright. Inside this, when we have four points, because we know that. We have to raise the position, but we are raising the position only after the points are equal with H. So if the points are equal to weight, we are going to the next level 3. So we are going to go to level 2. This is a simple game. And we play the animation. After we are playing the animation, let's raise the position. Position plus box. And another thing that I want to do is I want to create an UI item. So this UI item, I want to store information about the food, the collected food. Oh, all right, let's see here. Uh, 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 uh. Text. All right. Canvas text, and we can see on the display because the text is not, yeah, because the text is not positioned. But I'm going to add something else here on canvas and add a new line. Inside the panel, I'm going to add text, and I'm going to I'm going to make the panel like this, and the text. Come on. All right, and the text. Let's see where is the text. Here we go. Let's move the text over to this panel. Voila. And let's name, let's write here points. And actually, 
initially is zero. And the panel, oops. Alright, let's do something else here. By pressing Control Alt plus Shift T, you can actually move the place where you want. So point zero initially. And when we when we are raising the points right here, let's send public text. Oh, we can because we have to use uh, using the system that UI uh, not system in the engine. You can see join that UI. Here we go. And we can use text text and we call these points. And uh, void update points is a method that we're gonna call when we want to update the points into the uh, game points that text equal points plus and we get the current number of point oh I should rename this like rename txt points yeah apply and when we are eating something let's update the points perfect so if we're going to play, let's see what is happening. We have point zero here. And come on. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, we have to. I know why it's happening that. We have to send here into the player a reference to the text. So here we go. And actually, I'm going to add here another UI by pressing Control Alt key plus Shift. We're going to move right there. Minus ten. Minus. Let's try minus fifteen. All right. And let's try right here. Uh, 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 uh not level position because we want to get information about the current position it's perfect I'm going to add here another text text points public text text uh, we'll see Shrim and same stuff like here, but with the difference that we are updating the position. Alright. Position and we are getting the position. What the heck is happening? Oh the computer has entered on sleep. Let's open it. Alright. Alright, so I guess no one is watching us but we're going to continue. Update position and points. So here we go. We are going to update the position right here. So we update the points every time we raise the points and we update the position when we pass the level to the next level. So when we uh, get four points we can raise to the next level. Yeah, this is nice. 
and this is pretty easy this is the easiest way that we can do stuff and we can work with, with in my opinion maybe you know another way of doing games all right so let's see if the where is that position canvas oh i have to do something else here i have to drag the position and it's right here points and position all right all right so position zero and in games yeah we have this all right so let's see what is happening if the position and the points are updating I'm trying not to die come on yeah position points one points two come on don't die it's working pretty bad because all right and the position, as we can see, the position is not updating. Oh, position, yeah. <laughs> we got something wrong here. Update position, yeah. I haven't changed the position text. Yeah, right now it's working. Okay, and we have to do again this stuff. So bad, it's working so bad. I haven't expected it is. Alright, so as you can see we are on position one, we have five points, and if we are getting points, we get six, and if we die the game is going to reload and we can play it again so I done everything I wanted I done the move camera I done the getting food open doors and everything else so thank you guys for watching and see you soon in the next video where I'm going to evolve this game I'm going to add more stuff and more things inside it